Hi guys, my name is Lucas Di Grassi. I race for Abd Shafer Audi Sport and I'll be teaching you some techniques, especially how to learn a new track. Welcome to Race School. So the difficulty of Formula E is that you have one hour and 15 minutes to learn a new track. And that's why you have to do a lot of preparation on the simulator. So on the simulator, the main focus is on the race mode, which is the energy management level. We have to understand in which corner is the best to lift and to save energy. So you optimize your lap time and you optimize your race distance. Even with all this information, still you have to do the track walk to look at the imperfections, to look at where uh, you can gain an advantage or where you can optimize your line. And that's why track walk is so important. You can feel the track, you can feel the tarmac change, you can feel all the camber difference, you can feel all the difference in surface, and that has a big influence on how the car behaves. The other things we look in the track walk is the, let's say, the safe zones, place where even if you do a slightly mistake or if you try a more aggressive overtake, you can still run off without losing your race, you still be able to turn your car around and go back. Another thing that we look deep into the simulator and in the track walk is the overtaking points, of course. So you have to look uh, where the longest straight leads to normally the slowest point of the track. If the track is wide enough. Oh, look at this. Really wide here. Yes, he's on the inside line as well. And Adam Carroll's the meat in the sandwich. If you can go inside, and if you do go inside, how much margin you have um, to do the corner side by side with your opponent. And then all of this preparation leads to free practice. Your last chance to improve, your last chance to find every detail, every tenth of a second that will be so important for qualifying. And don't forget, our qualifying is only one lap at full power. And one of the most important things that people don't realize, you have different types of tarmac. And because tarmac and tire, they work together, the, the car changes behavior as the tarmac changes. And especially here in Hong Kong, you have a part which is in concrete, another part which is in a very flat tarmac, and then another part with a very bumpy tarmac. So the car keeps changing as the lap goes around. Uh, and that has a, only an influence that only in free practice, only driving the car you can feel. You cannot replicate that into the simulator and into the preparation. Go-kart racetrack doesn't really matter because racing from go-kart to Formula E, to Le Mans, to Formula One, it's all about the same technique. It's about preparation, it's about extracting the maximum out of the car in a given track. So thank you for watching, and I hope these tips will make you faster and better. Thanks for watching.